Good morning, everyone. My name is Natalia, and uh, thank you for attending this talk today. Uh, and I'm going to present you our paper, Follow the Path Hierarchy, where extreme multi-label completion for semantic text tagging. And the title is a bit long, but I will clear the top. Uh, so, and we'll start with the problem statement. Uh, in our paper, we address uh, semantic text tagging, which is the task of assigning labels or tags uh, from the predefined label set to the whole document based on the semantic content of this document. And uh, here are a couple of examples on the slide. Uh, the first one is from the Open Alex. This is a big knowledge base of uh, scientific papers annotated with the, with the concept from the taxonomy of uh, of the concept. And the second, probably familiar to most of you, the uh, Wikipedia categories can be also viewed as, uh, as the semantic tags which represent the content of the Wikipedia article. Uh, semantic text tagging improves, increase, improves the computer understanding of uh, document content, which in turn has many benefits for downstream application. Uh, for example, information retrieval, if you search the collection of text which is annotated with semantic tags, uh, tags, you kind of make the step further from the traditional keyword search and you can search the documents based on their content rather than just like specific keywords mentioned in this text. Uh, it also helps data integration when uh, multiple data sets are annotated from the same standardized ontologies so or taxonomies of labels, it will be easier to integrate further. And it also contributes to the creation and enrichment of knowledge graphs. Uh, and in real world problems, very often labels are organized in some kind of uh, hierarchy, hierarchical tree. It can be the taxonomy of labels or ontology. So they normally they have some structure. And again, few examples, Wikipedia categories are organized uh, hierarchically. Uh, concept, scientific concept in Open Alex data set also has a hierarchy. Uh, MESH is the thesaurus of medical terms which are used to annotate medical papers. Eurowalk is the thesaurus of uh, legal terms used to annotate EU legislation's documents. And in our paper we focus on these cases when, so we assume that their ontology or the taxonomy of labels are provided, so basically labels uh, are organized in some kind of hierarchy. And uh, following the previous works, we approach the task of uh, semantic text tagging as the extreme multi-label classification problem. And uh, we all know that multi-label classification is the, the problem of assigning multiple labels to the same instance. And in case when the number of labels is, uh, is very high, like thousands of hundreds of thousands, we talk about the extreme multi-label classification, uh, which is normally the case with the semantic text tagging because usually we have multiple labels. Uh, and in particular, in our work, we are considering one interesting subtask of uh, multi-label classification, which is multi-label completion, meaning that uh, we, our data instances are already partially annotated, so some subset of labels is provided, and the task is to complete this annotation and to add missing labels. And when we talk about the uh, hierarchically organized labels, so when, we, when our labels are in some form of the taxonomy, the most common case of label completion is when uh, most general labels or labels corresponding to the top level of taxonomies are provided and specific labels, more specific labels, are missing. Uh, and uh, this is a common case because more general labels are usually easier to predict both for models because there are fewer of them and there are like more training data and also for human annotators because normally they don't require that much domain knowledge and uh, can be easily assigned even by non-experts. So to summarize uh, our problem, which we, uh, <coughs> which, sorry, uh, which we address in our paper, is to uh, give a document a natural language, which, has, which is partially annotated with their general high-level labels, and the taxonomy of the labels, we want to 
complete this annotation and predict more specific labels. And now to our approach. So our approach is based on two intuition. First intuition is that labels assigned to, to a document are usually represented by some specific tokens in this document. And we want our model or our method to capture this correlation between tokens and labels so that when it sees their specific token in the document, it can, it can be a strong signal that like particular label is relevant. And uh, how we approach this, we want, to, uh, we want to have a label token attention mechanism in our model. And the second intuition is that labels uh, assigned to the same document are usually correlated, at least some subset of labels, and they should be treated jointly. Like, for example, on this slide, if we already predicted that label SQL is relevant for some document, then it can be a strong uh, indication that label RDBMS can be also relevant for the same document. So what we want here to do is to predict new labels looking back at already predicted labels, like conditional on the previous predicted labels. And uh, putting everything together, we need label token attention, we need conditional prediction, oh wow, conditional prediction uh, on the previous output. And you probably already know where I'm going with this. We need transformers. And just let's take a moment to, uh, to look at the transformer architecture to make sure it uh, fits the bill. So we have here the encoder-decoder cross-attention, which captures correlation between... So if we consider the document as an input sequence and labels as an output sequence, then encoder-decoder cross-attention will capture the correlation between labels and tokens. This is our first intuition. Uh, decoder self-attention will capture correlation in the sequence of labels which we generate. This is our second intuition. And we also get for free the encoder self-attention which help us to uh, train contextualized token embeddings which never hurts. And the only problem with this approach is that labels do not naturally form a sequence, it's actually the set. So how do we uh, represent labels as a sequence? And uh, Remember that we have a taxonomy or hierarchy of labels. And so what we suggest in our paper is to leverage this label taxonomy to uh, reorder the labels assigned to one document so that they form paths in this taxonomy. And if you think about this, it's a very natural way to organize labels because uh, the path in the taxonomy is basically the sequence of labels coming from the most general to more specific, where each next label is kind of the refinement on the previous labels. Uh, and now each path uh, in, this, in the taxonomy does form a sequence, and now we can use it as an output sequence in our transformer model. So to summarize, uh, with all this in mind, we suggest our model, which is called Hector, uh, which stands for hierarchical extreme classifier for text based on transformer. And the main strength of Hector is that it reformulates the problem of label prediction to the problem of path prediction. And in turns, it allows us to leverage the full transformer architecture, meaning like the full consistent of encoder and decoder, and uh, benefit from all its cool feature like cross attention and uh, uh, self attention. And now, uh, to experiment and results. Uh, uh, our experimental task was label refinement. So our initial state is a document which is partially labeled with a uh, general top level labels of taxonomy. And we want to predict more specific labels. And we have the experiment parameter L, which is their level from which we start the refinement or the prediction process. Meaning like if L equals two, then we have labels of level one from taxonomy and we need to predict starting from level two. Uh, we evaluate on three large scale data sets. I don't have time to talk about them now. Uh, and we compare it against uh, three, uh, uh, against several strong baselines which recently demonstrate state of the art results both for multi-label classification and multi-label completion tasks. And uh, so we consider two sets of metrics. First are the ranking metrics, which 
which are precision at k and NDCG at k, which basically demonstrate how well models do at the top k predicted results. And uh, there are s I put some results on this slide. There are more in the paper if you if you want to check. But I want to make a few observations from uh, from these results. First observation is that our approach, which is there. Uh, the leftmost, rightmost, the, the red bar outperforms other competing approaches starting with L equals 2. So meaning, it means that when only very like top level general labels are provided, it can be like label ML or NLP or something, it mean our model is already, uh, can make very good and accurate prediction of the following subsequent labels. And as we got more labels like L equals 3 and 4, this gap increases. And the second observation I want to make is that uh, the model doesn't perform equally across different data sets, like for, uh, uh, and it actually depends not on the data set itself, but rather on the underlying taxonomy. And in case of MaxiS data set, the underlying taxonomy is wide and shallow, which means that each label in the taxonomy has many, par uh, many children, and it means like predicting the parent, it's not super strong signal which next label we should predict because we have many options. In PubMed, uh, in contrast, it's other way around. We have narrow taxonomy, so each label has few children, and it means that when predict correctly one label, we almost for sure can know what is the next label. And there are more observations in the paper, and we can also discuss at the poster session tomorrow. Uh, we also have uh, computed classification metrics. I won't stop on them here. It's basically average precision recall and F1 across all the classes, all the labels, just to demonstrate that uh, how model perform also on um, on individual classes. But basically, this result just confirm our previous observation. And to conclude, uh, so in our work, we introduce a new paradigm for extreme multi-label classification. Uh, which predicts paths on the label tree rather than individual labels. And we explore the potential of the full transformer model for, for this task and present our approach and demonstrate its effectiveness on the label refinement task through extensive evaluation on three real-world data sets. Thank you.